morning all of you today we are going to see the second classification system of periodic classification of elements this system in previous lecture we see dobe rainer's triad in previous lecture what we see dobe rainer's triad today we are going to see we are going to see the newlands octaves newlands octaves newlands law of octave so john newlands was a english scientist who put for the classification system in 1866 he put for the classification of elements in 1866 okay he was the english scientist he suggest what he suggest he suggest the relation between he suggest the correlation between correlation between the atomic mass and properties and properties of the element in different way in a different way okay fir se i repeat again dekho john newland put for the law of octaves in 1866 okay he was the english scientist he suggest the correlation between he suggest the correlation between the atomic mass and their properties of the elements in a different way there were 56 elements there were 56 elements exist at the time of newlands there were 56 elements exist at the time of newlands so he arranged all the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses okay what he did he arranged all the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses okay he found that he found that every eighth element had the properties similar to those of the first what he found every eighth element had the similar properties to that of the first to that of the first now he compare this similarity with the musical octaves do you know musical octaves in indian music there are note seven note sa re ga ma pa dha ni and again sa is repeat so eighth note is sa that of the first is also sa so eighth and first is similar okay and in western music there is also notes the do re mi fa so la ti again the double original frequency is do so eighth frequency is again do so it means that it means that the seven uh, sorry eighth is do and the first is also do and in, in indian music first is sa and again eighth note is also sa so john newlands compare the similarity of its classification with the musical octaves and hence it is called octaves it is called octaves i repeat again listen carefully john newland was a english scientist he put forth his classification in 1866 there were 56 elements exist at the time of newlands what he suggest he suggest that there is a correlation means mutual relationship correlation means mutual relationship he suggest that there is a correlation between the atomic mass and the properties of their elements okay in a different way okay he showed the correlation between the atomic mass and the properties of the elements in a different way for that what he did he he arrange all the 56 elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses and found that every eighth element had 
the properties similar to those of the first similar to those of the first he compared with the musical octaves and called the octave called the law of octaves okay what is the law of octave he arranged all the elements in the increasing order of their atomic mass he found that every eighth element shows the similarity to that of the first this is called the law of octaves okay he compared with the musical octaves take example he started with the lightest element hydrogen newland started its classification okay he started with the hydrogen c arranged all the 56 elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses so he arranged the elements starting with hydrogen and ended with thorium so their first element is hydrogen and the last element is the thorium so hydrogen is the lightest element and the thorium is the heavy elements so student what is meant by heavy elements those elements which having high atomic mass and naturally emits the light in the form of radiations that we call the heavy elements or radioactive elements okay so he started with the lightest element hydrogen and ended with the heavy elements thorium all 56 elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses but in your textbook the chart or the table is given up to only zirconium this is not a complete chart or table this is given up to only zirconium okay so how we can explain this law listen the he arranged all the 56 elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses he found that suppose fluorine is the eighth element then hydrogen is the first if sodium is the eighth element then lithium was the first if magnesium was the first right then beryllium is the first so it means that fluorine had the similar properties to that of the hydrogen sodium had the different sorry sodium had the similar properties to that of the lithium magnesium had the similar property to that of the beryllium it means that every eighth element had the similar properties to that of the first this is called the law of octaves law of octave okay i repeat all this topic again listen carefully okay acche se suno main pura ye jo hai newland octave fir se batata hu the john newland was a english scientist okay john newland was a english scientist he put forth his classification system in 1866 there were 56 elements exist at the time of newland he suggests that there is a correlation between the atomic mass and the properties of their elements so he arranged it in a different way in a different way he arranged all the 56 elements in the increasing order of their atomic mass what he found he found that every eighth element shows the similar properties to that of the first now he compared it with the musical octaves okay there are two types of notes indian notes and the western notes indian note consists of the frequencies like sa re ga ma pa da ni and again sa eighth frequency is sa and the first one is also sa and in western music do re mi fa so la ti again do so the double original frequency do is repeat in the western music also so he compared with this classification and call them call them octaves call them octaves okay so now just see this table in this table in this table the he started with the lightest element hydrogen and ended with the thorium ended with the thorium thorium is the radioactive elements that is also called heavy elements so in this table fluorine is the eighth then hydrogen is the first so fluorine had a similar property to that of the hydrogen 
that sodium had a similar property to that of the lithium okay so this is the newland's law of octaves newland's law of octaves okay so now just see the limitations of the limitations of newland's octave okay limitations of newland's law of octave although this classification is good but it having certain drawbacks or demerits that is the limitations and that's why this classification system also get failed dekho ye classification mein bhi kuch khamiyan hai us wajah se ye fail ho gaye ये क्लासिफिकेशन फेल हो गया ये हम इस्तेमाल नहीं करते है ना उसको हम कहेंगे लिमिटेशंस क्या कहेंगे लिमिटेशन सो दिस क्लासिफिकेशन आल्सो हैविंग सम लिमिटेशन द फर्स्ट लिमिटेशन वेरी सिंपल इन दिस टेबल द एलिमेंट्स आर अरेंज इनटू 7 इनटू 8 दैट इज 56 दे अरेंज ऑल द 56 एलिमेंट्स टू द सेवन इंटू एट देखो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो सेवन रोज एंड एट कॉलम्स एट कॉलम्स सो ही अरेज सेवन रोज एंड एट कॉलम्स ऑल द फिफ्टी सिक्स एलिमेंट्स आर अकोमोडेट इन इट बट एलिमेंट्स अप टू कैल्शियम एलिमेंट्स अप टू कैल्शियम क्या अप्लीकेबल इस लॉ देखो दिस लॉ फाउंड टू बी अप्लीकेबल कैसे सुनो दिस ऑक्टेव्स लॉ found to be applicable this octave's law found to be applicable up to calcium the elements after calcium elements after calcium not obey the law of octave not obey the law of octave i repeat this law found to be applicable up to calcium up to calcium after calcium elements not obey the octaves law this is the first limitation this is the first limitation okay second limitation he placed the two elements each in some boxes he placed the two elements in some boxes to accommodate all known elements in the table in the table okay he placed two elements each in some boxes to accommodate all the known elements exist at that time in a table but actually what happened the cobalt and nickel is metal cobalt and nickel had the different properties to that of the fluorine chlorine bromine like halogens cobalt and nickel are metal while fluorine chlorine bromines are halogen so cobalt and nickel had a different properties to that of the halogens and they are placed under the same note do under the same note this was the second limitation fir se suno he placed the two elements each in some boxes to accommodate all known elements all known elements in the table he placed metal cobalt and nickel along with the halogens fluorine chlorine bromine under the note do which had different properties yahan par cobalt aur nickel ye jo metal hai unhone newlands ne kin ke sath place kiya fluorine chlorine aur bromine ke jaise halogen ke sath fluorine chlorine bromine ye non metal hai aur unko place kiya metal ke sath aur in dono ke jo bhi properties hai wo alag alag hai ओके सेकंड लिमिटेशन क्या है समझ में आई अब थर्ड ही प्लेस द आयर व्हिच हैड सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज टू दैट ऑफ द कोबाल्ट एंड निकेल अवे फ्रॉम देम इनटू द नोट टी अलोंग विद द ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर उन्होंने आयर के प्रॉपर्टीज कोबाल्ट और निकेल के साथ मैच करते हैं सिमिलर है पर आयर को इनसे दूर कहां पे प्लेस किया टी ये नोट में इनके साथ ऑक्सीजन और सल्फर के साथ फिर से देखो ही प्लेस द आयन अवे फ्रॉम द कोबाल्ट एंड निकेल व्हिच हैड द सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज अंडर द नोट टी अलोंग विद द ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर व्हिच हैड द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो दिस इज द ड्रॉबैक नंबर और लिमिटेशन नंबर 3 लास्ट वन 
there were no provision there were no provision in the newlands periodic table sorry newlands table for the newly discovered elements as the newly discovered elements had the different properties ye simple baat hai main aapko fir se samjha ko dekho newlands ke table mein naye khoje hue elements ke liye jagah nahi thi newlands ke table mein naye khoje gaye एलिमेंट्स के लिए बिल्कुल जगह नहीं थी और जो नए खोजे हुए एलिमेंट्स है उनके प्रॉपर्टीज इन एलिमेंट्स से मैच नहीं करते थे न्यूली डिस्कवर्ड एलिमेंट एज दे डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज क्यू आफ्टर दैट नोबल गैसेस वेर डिस्कवर्ड बट देर वेर नो एनी प्लेस और पोजिशन इन द न्यूलैंड ऑप्टेव so these are the four limitations of newlands octave i repeat again first one this law is found to be applicable up to calcium after the calcium elements not obey the law of octave this was the first limitation second he place the two elements in some boxes to accommodate all known elements for example he placed metal cobalt and nickel along with the halogens like fluorine chlorine and bromine under the note do which had a different properties third limitation he placed iron away from the cobalt and nickel which had a different properties under the note d along with the oxygen and sulfur and the last one there were no provision in the newlands octaves for the newly discovered elements as they had the different properties so these are the four limitations of newlands octaves aapko kuch aaj samajh mein aaya newlands octaves classification was given by john newlands okay samajh mein aaya aapko what we see today we see the newlands law of octaves and their limitations are you getting something ओके okay. समझ में आया आपको आज का तो कल हम देखेंगे मेंडलूस पीरियोडिक टेबल थैंक यू सो मच